Whiz, I'm taking my designated three days a year off. Going to Orlando, Florida, sun, surf, and sail. Full sail, that is. Full Sail University offers associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees for gaming, filmmaking, music, art, and technology. You can take classes both on and off campus, and the programs are accelerated so you can earn your degree in half the time. Each degree is immersive and hands-on, and even includes a new laptop with professional software so you can learn your craft with the same tools that the pros in the industry use. Full Sail alums have gone on to mix hit records, work on Hollywood blockbusters, and win Grammys, Oscars, and more. Learn more about Full Sail's entertainment programs as well as potential scholarship opportunities Visit fullsale.edu slash dbpre. That's fullsale.edu slash dbpre. That's right, he's back. In case you're one of the many psycho supervillains stalking the streets of Gotham City, I would make peace with whatever god you pray to, because they won't save you from the goddamn Batman. But before he dressed like a giant rodent and employed little boys in booty shorts as meat shields, he was Bruce Wayne, scion of the multi-billion dollar company, Wayne Enterprises. Until mommy and daddy got 360 no-scope, leaving Bruce with a void inside him that could only be filled by the never-ending quest for justice and vengeance. That night, Bruce Wayne died and the Batman was born. He would devote his life to perfecting his body and mind to become more than human. He would transcend his own mortality into legend, a nightmare to haunt evildoers till the end of time. Jesus Christ! I feel like Zoloft and therapy would work too, but okay, whatever works. Batman's resume is absurd. He's mastered 127 martial arts, trained in stealth and assassination, and is a super genius with a photographic memory. He's the world's greatest detective, bar none. Like how the League of Shadows needs to keep erasing Batman's memories because he keeps finding their secret bases. Or the time he found a dead body with no entry or exit wound and a 40-year-old bullet nearby and somehow determined it must have been fired backwards in time. Despite being a master marksman, escape artist, forensic scientist, mechanical engineer, and ninja, one of Batman's assets stands above them all. His fat sticks! Vance has poured his billions into tactical armor and gadgets for every conceivable situation. If there's one word to describe Batman, it's prepared. Made of reinforced Kevlar and titanium, his bat suit can resist knives and gunfire, and even protected him from this massive explosion. Judging by the size of the detonation, Batman's distance from the epicenter, and the surface area of his body, he must have withstood a blast of nearly 60 tons of TNT. His cowl comes with night vision, infrared, and a radio, while his utility belt is chock full of smoke bombs, nerve toxins, a grappling hook, and batarangs, which he can control mid-air and set to explode. It was these tools that allowed Batman to wage his one-man war on crime. But once he got over his angsty loner phase, he helped found the Justice League of America in order to bring his personal brand of Bat Justice to the entire world. You know, I can relate to the tragedy of a misunderstood savior that just wants to use his amazing technology to make the world a better place. Yeah, does that include that robot army you built that tried to overthrow the UN? So I had some kinks to work out. All it takes is a little destroy all humans and the bureaucrats go running. Short-sighted fools. This ankle bracelet still chafes. Oh, I've been there, buddy. Speaking of robot armies, join us in a few days as we talk about Batman's opponent, Iron Man.